Welcome, everyone! Let's collect the treasure. Ignore everything else for now. And... No! There's really, like, not anything... Yeah. Hey! Didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Smybro. And you are the dragon who must defeat him. Bring him on! I'm ready! Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. Yay! Nork Cove. Always fun. It's a laugh and a half. <laughs> Fun. Can't you tell I'm so good at this game? Yeah. Just a hair. Let's get the rat. So we got sparks back. How come they all have like weird face masks like the balloonists do? I guess that's just so they don't have to model a face. I guess. Ridiculous. Just a little bit, you know. And now I don't have sparks again. Shh, perfect. All right. But that's no problem. Because I'm Spyro! I'm a purple dragon! All purple dragon. Yeah. At least you have way more than enough lives. That's what you think. That's what I think. And then I die. A lot. A lot. A lot. I didn't even hit you. Oh, it looks like one of them dropped a key for a second, but... I guess I was wrong. Oh, we're gonna have to hit that barrel all the way over here. Okay, whoa, almost get killed by TNT. Almost. 
Almost. Almost. And let's go up here. Such fascinating commentary. I know. I know. Look at all that one. One point gems. It's the hooker gems. You know this to be true. Your joke was bad and you should feel bad. bad. <laughs> Maybe. So many gems. Nice. Especially by such a little dragon. Uh, what I mean is, I always believed in you, Spiral. You gotta believe. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh. That that was yeah. That just happened. That did Everyone. just happen. I'm. Trying to wrap my head around the you gotta believe. You gotta believe. I guess that's the uh what they were going for. I suppose. Ah, oh, I did. So much treasure! So this is just, I think, I feel like it's just a mess. This level. Welcome to Nasty's Worlds. Yeah. Really? Really, I guess. Oh. Uh, Wow, oh. really delayed. No, I was standing on it. Oh. Because if I'm standing on it, it won't let me... It won't spit up another one, I guess. Oh, yeah. Whew. Excuse me. That was close. So that's that branch. Whoa! Done. And okay, so I guess that. Okay. So I missed the, this middle branch. Yeah, this is the end of it. Which is a very long hallway for not very much stuff. Yeah. And I think I got all the dragons. Yes. Yeah. Nork's Nexus. I didn't know that was what it was called. Okay. Apparently, you missed a dragon there. There's one in the, um, uh, in one of the mouths. Gotcha. As is 25 treasure. So. So you can kind of see it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, why? That's Nasty's loot. Twilight Harbor and Nasty Nork. So wait, I'm confused. Why did I don't know what's going on? Maybe we actually have to use the exit. Maybe. Game, Maybe we need which to use doesn't the exit. make sense, but the exit portal. 
I don't know why. Things in this, yeah, just rush it. That's death. Ah, oh, poor Spyro. else you played it. Or whatever, or 14, I don't know. And just, um, do that. Oh, that's not fair. Save state. Yeah, really. <laughs> ah, that's why. <laughs> yeah. And don't be like, oh, you cheated. You used the save state. Yeah, really. I don't care at this point. I already beat most of this game, and I never abused the save states mm -hmm. other than to save time. For, for your convenience. Oh, okay. I did that for you, viewers. Oh, come on. You should grab that other butterfly. Twilight Harbor. Whoa! <laughs> Damn it. I didn't know that would explode into a bunch of other gems. But now I at least have an even number of gems. At least. Oh yeah, now they have machine guns. Oh, nice. If you notice the progress, ah! If you notice the progression of enemies throughout the entire game, like we st we started in Artisan World with Norks that just ran away. ran away. Then they got uh, swords and yeah. metal armor, and the progression continued. I guess you're right. You saw him disappear, right? Yeah, like, just gone. Cosmos. Thank you for releasing me. We already released you once, so I'm pretty sure. 
That's what you think. Thing is, though, like, and, uh, and like I said, um, it's just a late 90s game, so I'm not going to be, hold too many qualms against it, but why even give all these dragons names? I don't know. They did that in Spyro 3 as well, where they gave all the dragon in the dragon eggs names. Because it just seems to me like, unless you're gonna meet these characters again, like they're gonna fight beside you, or you know, there's a hub where they all would be, where you could like buy, you know, upgrades from one or another. It just doesn't seem very. There just doesn't seem to be a point to me in them having names. I think it mainly has to do with, um... Uh... So they could figure out where an issue is. Let's say, like, oh. they have... Oh, there's an issue with Cletus. Mm -hmm. They could fix Cletus. I guess. Now, I can put the drawbridge, or the bridge, up and jump over it with this supercharge, but I'm not, because I have to open up the, um... The box. Right. There we go. Now I'm gonna put up the drawbridge. Only after I go across it the first time. I wasn't even near that rat when I killed it. Yeah, but you killed it. That's the point. You're a murderer. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now let's collect this treasure. Anything out here? No? I don't think so. Ah, you sneaky thing. Let's see if there's one on this side. No! You he's cheated me. Just a little something for those of you paying attention, you know? I suppose. Okay, so that's finished. Now let's see, save, and I don't think we need... I'm pretty sure we don't need supercharge in here. At least not that I'm aware of. Because mm -hmm. I think the way that it turns is pretty... Oh, and then it doesn't matter since that giant ledge is there. Yeah. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I also feel like another thing, another thing they overlooked. How well oh. developed it oh. oh, great. Sometimes Spyro moves too fast for his own good. Yeah. Occasionally. Control over speed. I mean, I do in racing games, I do in games like this. Damn it, I'm not doing this over and over again. Okay. I really don't think we do. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. We got both dragons already? 
I think so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did I get all the treasure too? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Haha. -ha. Let's actually use the return home portal, unlike last time. Yeah. That was annoying. It didn't register that we'd beaten the world. Where's the rat? There you are. I was about to say, the rat just disappeared. And here we are. Nasty Nork. Let's do it. Confronting Nasty Nork. Oh gosh. No dramatic cutscene, no... No. We have to chase the thief down in order to get to Nasty. At the moment, though, we're just going to collect the treasure. <laughs> yeah, really. And that's all the treasure that we can get? Yes. Okay, so let's go get that thief. I know this is going to be annoying to some of you who will be like, Why aren't you changing him? It's just because I want to get all the treasure first. Yeah, I think it's... I think, honestly, if people, like, start leaving comments like, Oh, why aren't you chasing the thief? Um, they really haven't been able to tell that we've been trying to do this 100%, then... That door is irrelevant. be watching it. This door... This... No. Maybe the key is irrelevant. Did you pick the key up? I did pick the key up. Does... Oh! I guess I was too close to the door the first time. Yes. Because the hit detection in this game is sometimes a bit weird. Wonky. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. J. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got them all. Okay. I don't know what the difference in the keys were, but... Actually, no, no I'll run through this again just to be sure. I didn't yeah, miss I anything. I don't think you did, it just it can't hurt to make sure. Okay, it looks like I met I got everything. Alright. And he ran away like a bitch. Because he's scared of a tiny purple dragon. This is gonna be annoying because I gotta get everything. So it's gonna take a little bit longer than initially planned. And then after this, we just have one more level, and that's Nasty's loot, in which case... We just grab treasure. Just grab nothing. treasure. So I'd say congratulations for getting this far, you know. Yeah. Good job on getting everything else. And is there anything... No. Okay. Almost ran off the edge there. That would not have been good. Not at all. Seriously, like, this is all there is to it? Yeah. Did I get all the... Okay. 
Yeah, that's... Whoa! That, yeah, that platform is... Oh, I couldn't see. Not fair. Oh, wow, seriously? Nope! <laughs> I'm gonna have to redo all this treasure collecting, but... I'd rather redo this than chase those thieves down again. Yeah. And once I beat him in this area, I'm gonna do another save state. Uh, yeah. In hindsight, that probably would've been a good idea to do... Initially. Initially. Yeah, well. Okay, so I have all the treasure, so I'm going to save state there. Just so... I don't have to worry about running through that again. Yeah. So I guess what I'll do is I'll save state at major milestones where I actually have a chance to breathe. Which I think is fair. You know, in theory... I mean, it probably one of the reasons why I quit playing this game as a kid, too, was most likely because of the fact that the checkpoints in this game also kind of suck. Yes, we beat him. That's... that was... So, uh, I lied. Uh, Metalhead was not... I kind of forgot about you. What about Ganasty Gnork? Nasty Nork? His toast! So, now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Well, mostly. I still got some treasure to pick up. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. Okay, uh, so this is just going through the credits, so I guess we can give our final thoughts on the game. I mean, we're gonna do Nasty's loot still, but... Yeah. At, since we're at this point in the game, <laughs> might as well. Um, I particularly liked this game. It was probably one of my favorite games... Well, not my favorite, but Ripto's Rage, which is a sequel to this, which was one my favorite game. Um, it was fun playing it again, but initially when I first played it, it was a pain in the ass, and I never really finished it. Um, I, I really liked the game when I was a kid. I thought, you know, the colorful characters and the atmosphere, and, you know, it was just fun, but, um... Then the purple goo came along. Yeah, then the purple goo came. Good God. But now, um, I look back on it now, replaying it, and I just realize how mundane it kind of is. It does get really repetitive. It's extremely repetitive. That's why Spyro 2, which we I also plan on doing, is a lot better, mm -hmm. and is a lot more interesting to do than, than this one is, just because of, um, uh, just because it gives you challenges, and it's a big I, variety of challenges. And I feel like there's more story in the next Spyro games. Yes. Like, um... Much more so, considering that it actually gives you a progressive storyline versus uh, this one, which is you have one main storyline and there's no other subplots or anything like that. It's not even that there's no other subplots, there's no other character... Well, the... The dragons that you rescue technically are the other characters, but they don't really... There's no character development. There's no character development. They're just kind of there. And you never see them again. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, that's that's one of my qualms. Um, he, even Spyro doesn't really have much progression. I mean, he does kind of go from a smart-ass little dragon, but he still ends up as a smart-ass. Yeah. Which is kind of not really what they were intending, I don't think. Spyro but... didn't really have any 
personality to me, I felt. He just kind of... No sheep were hung during the creation of this game. You lie. Like a rug. <laughs> a few norks, but no sheep. Returning home. <sighs> now that that's there... Save state. Rescued Magnus. I think, again. Man, ancient history now. So, what's in there? I believe this is nasty treasure war. But the gate will not open until you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%. I Didn't believe I? we just did that. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Let's do it. Um, but yeah, even the character development was lacking. Um, but I do find that story-wise, it's kind of bland. Yeah, it's very basic, you know. Oh, that's right. We can fly. But, um, Where the heck was this during the game? <laughs> I don't know. Great question. But I, I personally think that it it set the bar for most platformers, and most people true, who true. owned a PlayStation owned this game. Owned this game, or at least played this game. Um, and oh, it's okay. But it's basically the the definitive platformer for the PlayStation 1. I mean, Crash was there as well. So they're both high up on the list. Mm -hmm. But I still think Spyro is my personal favorite. I have Crash 3, uh, Crash Team Racing, and Crash Bash. But I personally think this game is better. Bandicoot for me was one of those games where um, I could take it or leave it. I didn't really care for the characters much or the story much in those games either. So. Well. What did you think about this, uh, the music? I personally love I the like music the in this music. game. Um, Stuart Copeland did very well with the music in yeah, this game. Yeah, but to be honest, the visuals in this game, though, um, they give me a headache. They really do. Um, Being that it's a PlayStation 1 game, I think we can kind of look past well, that to being, a degree. I'm not just even talking about the graphics, I'm talking about the... the just the everything. I, I can't even really explain it. It just gives me a headache. Fair enough. I mean, it's colorful, yes, but... Every so often the camera angles all get all screwed up and it's... Yeah, and well, and like I said, uh, Spyro, I think, moves too fast for his own good sometimes as a character. Well, yeah. It is a problem, but... I screwed that up. Oh, well. Just a little bit. But all of the gems in this level are either 10 or 25. There are no 1s or 2s or 5s. There we go. Ha! I won. Yeah, that's all it is. I mean, whoa! Oh, that's right, this guy. But, I, I think they did, Insomniac Games did very well with this, and... I feel they did very well. Um, I feel like nowadays it'd be really, really well outfitted for, um, like a Nintendo DS game. Or Possibly, years. yeah. I'm... Like if they were to do a remake, like just or the PlayStation Vita rather. Yeah, PS Vita or something like that. Yeah. Some handheld, it's like a re-release kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, they they did release this on the PlayStation Network as like a downloadable thing. Mm-hmm. But 
that only it, it's the exact same game. They didn't like re revamp anything. Yeah, I don't even think they should should revamp anything because I I feel like the the replay value of this game is pretty good. I mean, if I you, suppose, if, but if I mean, you really want to just play like a straight up running around collecting crap game. Yeah, the only pro downside is once you do all that, then there's nothing really to do. Yeah. Well, except start a new file. Yeah, but why would you want to start a new file if you already got 100%? Mm. In case you're just, you're that bored, you know? Maybe? Where's the... Where's the stupid thief in the plane? Where do you go? Um. I was maybe... about to say, did you set those rockets off? The one I did, I thought I did that one, but I guess I missed. I guess I'm gonna go look in the, uh. tunnels, the lava tunnel, to see where the plane guy is, because I'm pretty sure that's where he's at now. There he is. But he's really fast! Why did they decide to give the thieves planes? Because somewhere, someone, an insomniac hates you. They probably knew I was going to be playing this. I was like, and yeah, let's like, put the thief I like how on he just, a plane. I like how he just flew through the pipe. Yeah. I think uh, stuff like that is easy to forgive in older games, but uh, in newer games when stuff like that happens, you're just like, no. There we go. Awesome. So we got the final key. Let's go... Lock the door and GTFO. Yes. Bump. Yeah, that's all it was for. It was ten. Mm -hmm. The actual main reason for that was actually so we can get enough height to leave level. Wait, why does it not... We're not flying much higher than... Are we? Pretty high. But not as high as we need to be. There we go. Now we have the height advantage. Oh, I forgot. Sparks doesn't care. Okay. I'm rich. Purple I'm purple gems. Yep. Purple gems everywhere. Another thing too, like I know you needed to get the treasure to uh, complete the words, Macy. Find them to, to get into to nasty. Get, to get into nasty's uh, loot, but uh, you can't really do anything with the treasure afterwards. It's just there. Yeah. But we got all the treasure, and we're gonna go home. In the world. And. I believe the ending changes if we beat Nasty again. Oh. Oh, never mind. Defeated Ganasty Ganork, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. How do you feel? <clears throat> I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. You know what they say. Every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. Uh-oh. Here we go again! Woo! Yay! So we beat the, the, the game in its full entirety. Um, 
so what would you give this game as a final score? Um, okay, so if you asked me back when this game came out in, like, 1998 or whatever, I'd probably give it, like, an 8 or a 9. Pretty good. Even though you didn't finish it? Even though I didn't finish it. I mean, if I was 20 years old in 1998, I'd probably give it an 8 or a 9. Fair enough. Um, but now, I'd give it, like, a 4. I'd say 5 or 6. So, Just because it's challenging but not always for the right reasons yes. and it's monotonous which so it's is just annoying general consensus is like a 5 5 is is our score for this a, a good average game but that does not mean no, don't play it yeah that it's def, it's, it, it's a definitely a game you should play it's a classic i mean it's one of those games where you really should play it yeah i mean it, 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 and before, don't before be... before you judge new games like, or before you start playing newer games and think like, this anything is, below an eight is terrible. Well, this is the be all end all of you know platformers now. I mean, consider this is kind of where this where yeah, platforming cons started. Consider that even though you oh, and you were right, Clancy Brown is yeah, a voice. Yeah, yeah, Clancy Brown is that ex I knew I recognized his voice. I just. But yeah, I mean, it, you don't want to always say that this is the best game ever and then not play the predecessors to it. So, yeah, just something to think about. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, I can only think of how much I hated Beast Makers and all the worlds therein. Yeah, it's pretty. That was bad. the worst world ever. Although we beat them surprisingly quickly. Yeah, I just remember them being very, very difficult yeah. and annoying when I was a kid. Yeah. Being 20 and having increased skills. intracranial capacity and cognitive skills, yeah. I feel better. And you're saying the sheep were not harmed during the game. Which is a lie, I'm sure. I killed the sheep. I killed the sheep. Um, but yeah, uh, that's everything. I mean, I, I don't think there's anything different after this. Returning home. Yeah, it brings We're us back right back, Artisan. right back to Artisan. So we will see you guys uh, in the next game, most likely something like Spyro Two or I, actually I don't even know. I don't want to say totally different. I don't want to say it's going to be one game or the other because then if we change our minds, then you're going to say, oh, you told, you said. We so don't know yet. We'll we see you guys know. in the next game, whatever that may be. Okay. Right. See you then. See ya.